All right, so welcome back. Uh, so this is from Street Fighter 2. Battle Harbor. Um, I don't think I don't think we've met before. <laughs> um, so there's this one guy who made this stage a long time ago. I think he's like Japanese. I don't think you're him. But yeah, um, it looks it looks like a great addition of it. So like I said, this is oh my gosh. So this is from like Street Fighter Two. Uh, I know like fighting games like uh, it's more like tighter of an arena, but I probably still would have like just scooted these win things a little bit more out of view. That's fine. Um, yeah, so you get like the American flag. Isn't this like that Guile guy's stage? Sonic Boom! I don't know. Uh. Interesting, yeah. But it's like the stage from Street Fighter that everybody makes from that franchise. But yeah, man, this is uh, it's pretty cool. You like the American flag, and uh, it's like a shipping dock, isn't it? Shouldn't that second layer be water though? Right here, I don't know. Cause it looks like the ship is like it's on it's on the concrete. Is that supposed to be right there? Yeah, I have no idea. Um, yeah, man, awesome stage, and uh, I'm looking forward to Street Fighter VI. So looks pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I probably just would have scooted these wind things out just a tiny bit more. But yeah, that's alright. That's fine. Yeah, awesome job, man. Keep it up. All right, so this is a uh, Melty Spire Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy. Um, I remember this level. Um, you you have like a certain amount of time, like the lava's rising, and you have to keep like running. And then you eventually get to the top before the lava consumes you. I think there's like a level in Mario Galaxy 2, or maybe it's also Mario Galaxy. It's like a sand level when you're in like that giant glass structure. And uh, it's like, oh no, I gotta hurry. Yeah, because like it's not like, it's like, oh, it's lava. Wait a minute. Zoom in on that. Oh no, hold on. What's happening here? What is this star? What have you drawn here? Wonder how you made that. What's your secret? Yeah, um it's like lava rising. I think that would have been interesting if you put like lava in the foreground, but this is here so that couldn't really work possibly. You you saved uh, space by making this one object. This thing in the foreground. Very clever. Um, yeah, this is, a, this is a pretty cool level. I like the music in this uh, galaxy here. Or Melty Monster Galaxy, isn't that what it's called? Or is that Mario Galaxy 2? I don't remember. Um, yeah, dude, awesome job. This star right here is like... I think you have to break it out of the, the crystal thing. I think it would have been interesting if you, uh, you mean like the lava rise? It's like, oh, oh no. Because, you know, uh, that, that would have. Wait, what's this? Hold on, hold on. What's, what's going on here? What is this? Was this an accident? Was that supposed to be there? What's your secret? It's, it's on both sides, though. Maybe this is just like aesthetic. Maybe you weren't supposed to go here. Well, I think you did that on purpose, because if you got blasted out here, it's like, you're not making it back. You're just gonna... Unless, uh, this is a bottomless pit over here. Yeah, eventually, yeah, I guess so. Not too shady. 
Yeah, um, awesome job, man. Yeah, you keep it up. Alright, so this stage is called Moon Crater. Oh, it's the American flag. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, I've covered this in the past, for sure. Um, so, oh, oh, hello there. How are you today? Uh oh, is he coming, peace? You gonna bite my finger off? It's it's a little Among Us. Hi. People bop me bop. Uh. Oh, I don't know what that means. Yeah. So like you got know, like the Earth. You got like the Sahara Desert, uh, Antarctica, whatever. You got Texas. So like we're in outer space. It's like the gravity. Yeah. You put like wind. To stimulate that. I can see San Diego Comic Con from here. <laughs> There's my house. Yeah, that was a joke, but yeah. So, uh, yeah, I've covered this in the past, but like, you definitely like updated it. That's a nice like flag. How you made that all fit in that tiny space. But you put the Among Us here. That's interesting. Hmm, you know, because they're like, oh, you can't go to Area 51. What if they're hiding this here? He's a crewmate, and he's like, he could, he could be sus. We don't, we don't know, but yeah. I probably would have made, like, the gravity, or the wind a little bit stronger to hold you up a little bit longer. You wouldn't have to. That'd probably interfere with the fighting too much. Um, yeah, man. I think that would have been cool if you included the sun. The sun, like, somewhere in the background. But, uh, yeah. What is this planet you call Earth? Morgan Freeman? No, that's just that's just a true mate. But, yeah. That was, that was cringe. But wasn't the, the moon faint? The moon landing fake? I know a guy who works at uh, Best Buy, and he is like, this is not real. That was a joke. But yeah, awesome stage, man. Yeah, you keep it up. Alright, so this is an, another original stage. Oh. Well, hello there. Look at this. There's some uh, nice steps you got here. How long did that take you to figure that out? So yeah, it's like this looks like uh, this looks like that place from Elden Ring. It's like that uh, Rhea Lucaria, like that place where they have like all the magic. It's kind of like, reminds me of. It passes the vibe check, you know. what I'm saying, man. But yeah, it, this is just an original stage. Something to do with like it's 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 called Arc Sus, like you know like. Like Among Us or something, I don't know. But you said something about, like, you want to play as uh, Kazuya and uh, uh, Sephiroth here or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you could, like, teach me a magic trick or two. How long it take you to figure this out? But, yeah. I see you do have some little sorcery going on here. Find the Glenstone Key. Is it underneath this wooden floorboard? Because it's, it's flickering, and as we've already established, if something is flickering, it, that's it's very sus. There's definitely something underneath it. But it's like a nice stage to fight on. Like even though it's an original stage, it's like it's like you know, it's pretty cool. It's just like it's whatever, man. It's like I want to fight someone in like a. a uh, like a grand building where they do sorcery, I don't know. I think it would have been interesting if you put like a teleporter right here and then you just end up back on the other side, similar to like the Mario Bros. arcade. Um, I, I don't know, I thought that would be pretty cool, I don't know. <laughs> you know, the real question is why would you wanna 
play as Kazia and Kazia and uh, Sephiroth here. What, what's what's with that, huh? It's like a dream fight you have, huh? You have a death wish. Yeah, but man, this is an awesome stage. Um, yeah, you keep it up. What's happening over here? Why is he? Why is he jumping? Uh, you know what? This this might be one of those old magic tricks you have up your sleeve. Uh, hypnosis, perhaps. I uh, I don't know, but yeah, awesome job, man. Yeah, keep it up. All right, so this is the last stage. Um, I want a bus to Bikini Bottom. So um, hopefully my microphone picked that up, and hopefully you enjoy that. So this is Rock Bottom from SpongeBob. I'm not sure if you're talking about like the video game uh, that's glitchy and broken, or you're talking about the actual episode. But um. What was that game even called? I don't remember. I can't even think right now. Um, yeah, this place is really spooky. It does not pass the vibe check. No way, bro. But, uh, yeah, it's scary. Um, I guess this is where the line starts. Okay, I'll just cross the street. Uh, remember to look both ways and uh, make sure there's no cars coming. You know, it's funny, that, like, they're underwater, like, couldn't they just swim faster than they could drive a car? I don't know. Maybe that defeats the logic. Is this, uh... Is this a snack machine? Hmm. Interesting, yeah. Because, like, they have, uh... They have, like, that video game, uh... That recent Spongebob one that came out by... THQ or whatever. I got all the achievements and uh, whatever. And there's like a level with Mr. Krabs. You have to like ride down a, a thing with your tongue, like a sand thing, and you have to collect the, the, the spatula in time. I did that, but it like glitched out on me. And so like I, I was locked out of getting all the achievements. And like I'm not replaying that game, you know? That made me uh, really mad, but yeah. Anyways, any hill. Yeah, that's a nice stage, man. Um, you probably could have got away with making this ice a little bit thinner. It looks fine. But um, sometimes you just gotta like toy around with it and see like how much you can get away with. Because when I made that uh, Thomas stage, I was able just to shrink it just a little bit more. But yeah, man, this is pretty cool. If you had a little bit more room, you could have made, like, a fish in the background, or maybe, like, a line right here, I guess. I don't know. But, yeah, it's like, it's like a unique uh, platform right here. Instead of making these, like, three different objects, you could have probably just tried to use the grid and uh, drew them all together. But this is fine. It's just because if you, like, push down, you can, like, fall through it, which I don't really care. It's fine. That's a nice bus, though. I like the way you did that with the windows. Yeah. Awesome stages, everybody, and uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.